On average in the United States, a student leaves college with nearly $29,000 in loans. Here in Maine, the average is even higher at $32,600. In fact, New Hampshire has the highest average student loan debt in the country at nearly $40,000. Good evening and thanks for joining us here on New Center Maine at 530. I'm Zach Blanchard and I'm Chris Costa. People paying off their federal student loans will not be seeing the relief President Joe Biden proposed. Today, the Supreme Court rejected the president's plan to wipe away $400 billion in student loan debt. In a six to three decision, the court ruled the Biden administration overstepped its authority in trying to cancel or reduce student loans for millions of Americans. The court ruled that the administration needs the approval of Congress before undertaking such a costly program. The Biden administration argued the plan was lawful under a 2003 law called the HEROES Act, which says the government can provide relief to recipients of student loans when there is a national emergency. About 90 minutes ago, President Joe Biden announced an alternative student debt relief plan. It's designed to ease borrowers' threat of default if they fall behind on their payments. You can learn more about that plan on Nightly News coming up tonight at 6.30. Of course, there are plenty of people with different thoughts on the court's ruling. Yeah, New Center Maine's Alex Haskell joins us live now with the details on how some people are feeling tonight. Alex. Hi, Chris and Zach. Well, we're in Portland's Old Port, where I've been talking with folks about their feelings on the court rejecting the president's student loan forgiveness plan. And we've been hearing from people with strong opinions on all different sides of this issue. Kind of a gut punch, honestly. Um, you know, I think with you know with everything that's been going on the past few years i think a lot of people were sort of looking at that as a sort of ray of hope when i was in college i uh, worked full time plus i had some loans but i paid back my own loans so i think other people should pay back their own loans now, according to the Biden administration, in all 43 million borrowers would have been eligible for the forgiveness program. It would have eliminated $10,000 in debt for those making less than $125,000 a year. Households earning less than $250,000 also would have qualified. People who received Pell Grants would have had an additional $10,000 relieved. And we'll have much more on this tonight on New Center Maine at 6. Zach and Chris. Alex Haskell live in Portland tonight. Thank you.